Hello everyone, welcome back to some more From the Depth. We've got a new supply ship that's actually sailing around for once. It's going speed 45 so it is slower, uh, it is faster than our previous supply vessel which is nice. We've basically loaded up nearly uh, 700,000 crystal because this farm has just been churning it out slowly but surely over the course of the campaign. And now we're gonna send it over there to our forces, we're gonna be launching up some radar balloons pretty soon. But first we have to take out some stragglers over here. We've got a Falkenheim and a scuttle gun. We've got a Pequod, a Red Tuna, another scuttle gun. And yet another scuttle gun over here. So we're going to be taking out the eagles and the wings. And we're going to be taking on this giant, well, collection of fleets. I wouldn't call it a fleet, but eh. It works as a collection of fleets, I suppose. Now the one annoying part about our missiles is that they are infrared seeking missiles and they might not target all of them as I found out with the... Uh, what, what's what it called? Oh, I don't know. We found that out in the, in the, in the fight at the end of the last episode. Ooh, that Falconheim is looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on that. As it stands, we'll just sow some chaos down below. Might we be able to get a grenade or two to land? Nope, we missed. That's just how it goes. The game is quite laggy, I'm not gonna lie. And again, that's what's expected to happen at this point, I guess. I mean, there is quite a lot in this battle, even if it's just a ton of small ships. It adds up. Now we took out, I think, one of the red tunas. Which is good. Just trying to get some fire happening over here. Wanna try and take out those cram cannons at some point. Actually, I think it might just be better if a mini gun at this point. There we go, just remove it gently from the game. There you go, that's the way to do it. Just tear it all apart and then move on to the next piece. Yep, very nice. There we go. Right, let's get some engines out of here as well. You don't need any of that. You don't need power or ammo for that matter, right? There we go, two damage. Our job here is done. Just make sure that it doesn't repair. Yeah, there we go. Off you go. Right, next up, where should we go? We'll probably mount up, actually. Depending or not if they will let us. So close, and yet so far. repairing it which does help because it has taken a bit of damage I mean overall we haven't taken that much damage yet but some of them have definitely taken some damage I think this one's in the water yep there we go and he died at least I died so that's great I'm gonna be stuck doing that for a while Come on, just let me go. Thank you. There we go. Let's quickly fly up to see if we're making any progress on these. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, any of my guys around? I don't think so. That's the Falcon I think it's actually pre doing pretty well for itself with its defensive armament. It's sort of wrecking my stuff slowly. Which is very annoying. We now have an incas incapacitated wing over here. Not what we need right now. We in the battle? No forces will be destroyed if we leave the battle now. Alright, let's just bail. Because this is not working. Out. 
Oh, great. You just complicated for no reason. We're gonna switch over to the Moray here, which also has a, st a ton of stuff to fight. Knowingly enough, they just... They didn't want to follow my move order for no reason. It's just like, nope, we're not gonna move there. Screw you, we're not gonna move there. I'm gonna leave the pilot seat so that the Moray can just do the fighting and flying on its own. Thankfully, the submarine is not making it too difficult to fight it. Because it's going over the land. There we go. Cram cannons and everything is just wiping it out with no no questions asked. Just blown apart. Got some cram impacts on his friend on the right there. Who's now too damaged and dying. The Pequod is already dead. Moray takes no prisoners. It really doesn't. Excellent. I think we have another fight to fight over here. Or did they chicken out? Well, either way, we're gonna try to get the Moray back over here because they are now gonna blockade my fleets. As they do. said if we can nope it's the Falkenheim we're not gonna be able to take that one not without any help at least so let's just try and make sure our fleets actually repair one another like they're supposed to lifting moving out lifting not that we have any resources to do it lifting can we just excuse me why didn't you just move so that you didn't get blockaded Thanks for that, that was great. <sighs> You're not dead yet. Moving out. I swear we would have killed you earlier. Moving out. Moving out. Lifting. We're gonna We're gonna just scuttle these, I suppose. They might steal the resources, which would be annoying. But they're planning to attack them anyway, so they we were Moving we're gonna out. die anyway. Which is very annoying, let me add that, because I did not choose to have this fight, instead they just failed to run away. Lifting. The crabs I have with this game sometimes. Yes! That's more like it. Right now, how do we best take this down? Might be a good idea to start literally taking it down. Yeah, how do you like them apples? We're gonna take you out of the sky. You bastard. Come on, just like the good old Zeppelins from World War One, you just gotta take them down and then they're easy to kill. Now we actually have a fighting chance. Get inside from here. Last two. It's a trap. Let's see if we have a better one over here. They're trying to deploy the loot. Oh, hey, there we go. Let's say I'm waiting for AI to start firing on me and trying to kill me. One of our eagles is sinking. Great news. That's precisely what I wanted them to do. You know, take out a gun, you don't need any of that. Next up, we need to find the AI on this thing. I do like how this looks like an actual Zeppelin. That's a pretty cool design. It's just annoying to fight. That's all. Especially when your ships are having a bad day. Where would one keep the AI on this? I have no idea. We're gonna have to find it. I know that that's where they keep it. Ooh, ammo. Yeah, that's a nice explosion. We nearly fell out of the bottom of this thing, but 
Thankfully, we're still here. I want to try and capture it if we can. It seems like a decent design. Being able to use more deep water guard designs is never a bad thing, I suppose. Especially when I don't have the time to keep building new ones. Good. Tell me, dear Falkenhain, where do you keep your AI? Oh. Alright. That did not work entirely, so there's more. At least we have one down. I mean, yes, 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 we have it. It is ours now. We didn't capture any of the resources. Of course we didn't. Arr. That actually worked reasonably well. We're going to try that again. Hi. Did we just literally... Capture the enemy like that? Wait. Can we try and dismantle your AI wherever it is? Gotta be somewhere in here, right? Yeah. We can take this apart and literally capture it like this. I mean, we did sort of blow a giant hole in the ship again. No, oh, we did not get his little ship. That's annoying. Again, if we could just... If we could have captured those in a way, that'd be great. But nope, they just explode. Too heavily damaged. That was, that was a weird fight. Why is it not over yet? Oh, the Skull Gun is still there. Well, I mean, we can do something about the scuttle gun. Easy. Oh, one second, I'll be right back. Right, and I am back. There's another neighbor to the package. It happens. Anyway, let's try it. So I'm pretty sure I took you out last time. You were supposed to die after those double ammo detonations and your engine blowing up and everything like that. I'm gonna make sure you pass away this time. That's better. And so they tried to take on our fleets and they died pretty horribly. We have the Falkenheim, and it's two little smaller ships, which we can make into subordinates. Which is pretty nice. We're gonna try and definitely do that. We'll have to repair them first. Thankfully, we have a ton of resources incoming. Now where are the... Oh yeah, the wings are over there. Right, let's get you back here to repair quickly. We did lose one of our eagles. So we're not gonna get any of those resources back, unfortunately. But that is the way of things. We'll be fine. It's just gonna take a little bit of time to get back on our feet. And by that I mean I hope to God that we have enough resources at the base by now. Because there is always more stuff incoming. Thankfully, there's only a Pequod and a Skull Gun. We should be able to take it on easily. Listening. I'm going to move these guys to safety. Lifting. And we're actually going to divert the uh, the wings. We need some assistance over here. Moving out. Lifting. Moving out. Uh, we're just going to finish repairs on you. We're going to scrap you so that they have some actual speed. Lifting. And then we'll get the wings and the eagles involved and we'll just take the quad out. Easy. It's only a submarine. No. Did you move in the... You moved... You moved in range, didn't you? 
Yep, way to go, Moray. You moved into range, which I told you not to do. Well, we're gonna fight this mercantile navy, because we can. Go forth and conquer! By which I mean, please wait for me. They're actually in the water, despite me telling them specifically to not go into the water, which is great. It's nice to know that the AI always listens to what I say. Brilliant. Um, we're gonna just hope we can capture it. If we can maybe capture this one, that'd be nice. It would be beneficial in our studies to maybe get ourselves a submarine at some point. And it would also help to take on the, uh, the Onyx Watch. They are not quite as strong against submarines as you expect them to be. I mean, if you would just slow down so we could catch up, that'd be grand. Thank you. I think that's his compatriot getting blown up by a massive hit. We are losing our wing, which is very unfortunate. And we're just chasing butterflies here at this point. Can you just... Uh, bloody backwater. Yeah, there goes another wing. It just blew itself up. Do we need to give you some assistance here? You do seem to be in need of some assistance here. At least you're not sinking. And look, it's a bloody submarine. just slow down so we can capture you, but no, you're just gonna keep running. Bastard. Alright, we're gonna teleport to this wing. I'm just gonna board that guy down. Simple enough. There you know, never get close again. Actually, we might be able to jump on a panel like this. And again, the last time I tried that, we ended up chasing him through the water for five minutes. So, I don't know. Nope, he's recognized me, and he's gonna turn away again, isn't he? Probably. Oh, we might be able to catch him. Oh boy. It's a lucky day. Hi. We're here to stay, I'm afraid. Demolish this and then let us in. Hi. Where's your AI? Why did you just. I was attached to the vehicle, then I wasn't anymore. Great! Thank you very much, game. Looks like I've been trying to capture this guy for a while. And we blew him up. Or we got blown up. I'm not entirely sure which one of the two. Too damaged, but sustained by repairs, all right. Not sure where he was getting repaired from, or we did capture him in the end. Yeah, we captured him in the end, and then he demolished himself. It's great success. Well, we might be able to get the blueprint after the battle, just like the uh, little drones with Falkenheim. Who knows, we'll be able to see in a minute. And now all that's left is to take out this small stellar run, which should be easy enough. Take out some of these parts over here. Oh, there we go. Yep, and you should be dead in a minute now. You finally just sink. There we go. It's so annoying how you can only float as you sink in the water. Come on. Come on, I'm pouring the lead in you. Come on. You die at some point. It's alright. You have my permission to die. There's some ammo there that we can hit. Yep, just making sure that he actually dies. 
Well, there we go. We have a quad. Our fleet of eagles is just breaking down. Not helpful. We lost a wing, but we should be able to repair that. If not, then I'm going to eat my own shoe. Anyway, guys, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to end it here. Some mopping up this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't, rem uh, don't forget to leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. And until next time, have a good one, folks.